Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the game The Little Flower Shop. Now in this game you're going to be running a flower shop and the object of this game is you're going to try to get the most amount of flower power points. So let's take a look at it. Okay everybody, here we go. The object of this game is you're going to be trying to score the most amount of flower power. In. And uh, what you've got here is you've got a little flower shop and you're going to be starting off with three vases of your color. Now you're going to note uh, on the bottom that there are petals over here. Uh, this is how much flower power this particular vase is going to be worth once you fill it with flowers. Uh, now when you look at the flowers over here, uh, these particular vases that have the colors on them are going to need this arrangement and there's only going to be there's going to be one card that will be able to fill all this. You're not going to be able to mix them. Uh, these this one will be able to take two of any flower, um, again one card, and then this is going to take one of any flower. Now on top of this you're going to be able to add vases over here and in these areas and a typical vase will look like this and there's several different types that are going to have different types of flowers on them along with the flower power over here on the bottom. On top of this you're also going to have the opportunity to hang what are called baskets of flowers over here on the ceiling and they're going to go here and here and here. So you'll be able to have eight vases and three of these flowers. Ultimately that's what you're going to be trying to go for to get the most amount of points. On these particular cards this is how much it's going to cost to uh, get this flower and this is how many points that it is going to be worth. So some of the other cards that are going to be in this game, and here is the deck. Um, I'll just show you some of them. Here's like one flower. Here's a bouquet of three flowers, vases. Um, and over here, this is how you're going to be able to make money. You're going to be able to sell flowers over here. And uh, to do that, you'll uh, simply say, okay, one flower is worth three, two, four, three for five. And uh, with this, you'll be able to sell the vase along with the bouquet that you sold. So if you had... Um, two flowers would be four dollars. If you sold the vase along with it, that would be an extra two dollars. So that's another action that you're going to be able to take. Over here is the money that you're going to be able to get, and this is the cash register, and you're going to basically be placing your money inside of the register. Now, another thing you're going to be able to do is um, you're going to be dealt seven cards, and what you're going to be doing is a pass and play, where you're going to look at a card, select one, and then pass the deck to your opponent, and then they're going to select one, and then you're going to end up getting it back until you end up dealing out getting seven cards. So you'll be able to put cards in storage over here, a maximum of four. Um, to use later and then you also have the trash now you want to try to avoid putting cards in the trash because if you do you're going to end up losing a flower power so at the end of the game any cards that are over here are going to go into the trash any empty vases are also going to go into the trash so after you go ahead and you do the pass and play and you go ahead and get your cards what you're going to do is simultaneously everybody's going to go ahead and play their cards out so for example I've got four dollars over here so I'm going to go ahead and place this in the register like so I have a bouquet of flowers right here, so I'll go ahead and place that in there like that. Um, I have another bouquet right over here, and let's see, and right now I've got this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in storage since I cannot use it yet. Uh, I also have this flower thing that I can hang. I have $3, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here and go ahead and discard this card to cover that. And then I also have uh, this lady over here to uh, where I can go ahead and sell a bouquet of flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sell these three flowers right over here so I can make some money. In this case, it's going to be $5. Now, the caveat with that is that you have to have flowers in these vases in order for you to get flower power because if you don't, you're not going to get them and you're going to end up losing points. So anyway, you're going to basically be doing this for three rounds. Let's just say in another round... I happen to have this vase. I'll go ahead and I'll place it right over here. And let's say I also had this vase. I went ahead and I could place it over here. And look, I've got this flower that I can go ahead and use so I can place this in here. So uh, essentially what you're trying to do is you're just trying to mix and match in order to try to get the most amount of points. Um, and so anyway, you're going to be doing this for three rounds. At the very end, you're going to go ahead and count up all of your points. Uh, points are going to be scored. You'll count the petals uh, for each of these vases that happen to have flowers in them that are required you'll get the petals so this will be one flower power this one right here would be three flower power this one will be another three flower power now any vases that you have that are empty are going to go over here into the trash and uh, any cards you here have here are going to go to the trash as well cash you have you'll score one flower power for every five dollars that you have um, over here for any 
two cards that you have in the trash, you're going to deduct one point. So anyway, after that, you'll go ahead and you will count up all your points. And whoever has the most amount of flower power points is going to win the game. And that, folks, is the Little Flower Shop. So our final thoughts on the Little Flower Shop. Well, first of all, this is a very cool theme. Uh, I think flower games right now are pretty popular. We have a game called Floriferous that's really good. Um, and I like this game. The one thing I like about this game is the simultaneous play that you get to play out all your cards on your board and you're trying to figure out the way to score the most points. Got a lot of decisions, of course, you got to make with the vases. Uh, do you want to risk putting a vase up there? Uh, you might get points, you might lose points. Do you want to sell flowers, try to make money? Get the hanging baskets up there. Um, yeah, and it's a very easy game to learn. Uh, it doesn't take much time to play. It might take 15, 20 minutes to play. And the game also has a really cool solo mode as well. It's got some really nice components. The cards look really nice. Uh, the boards are really nice. Um, it's a simple game. It's a fun game. And I uh, think anybody uh, that just wants to play like a simple, fun game uh, that gives you some decisions to make and uh, gives you the opportunity to kind of play simultaneously along with other players so you don't have to wait around is a good thing. So check it out. All right, guys, that's my review of The Little Flower Shop. Take care. Keep on gaming.